Welcome back. Check out our shot of the day from KDKA photojournalist Scott Danka. Oh, man. He's sharing his shots while out working for KDKA Morning News. Today's pick is of a sunny morning showing bridges over the Mon River. He's so talented. All right, well, it's a good day to get outdoors and visit the Pittsburgh Zoo and PPG Aquarium. It's up and running and wel welcoming visitors with some new members to the zoo family. We'll find out about the new cheetah cubs and sea lion pup later this hour. But first, we're checking in with Henry of the zoo to meet some special guests in Kicks Kingdom and find out what we need to know when we visit. Good morning, Henry. Hey, Henry. Good morning. <laughs> All right, so you're in your favorite place, Henry K Kids Kingdom. What's different there since you guys have reopened? Well, uh, a lot of things are different. Obviously, we're practicing social distancing with our guests and requiring masks when going into buildings. Uh, most importantly, from a visitor standpoint, we've had a sea lion pup that was born this year, and we're very excited about that. It's our first in a number of years and uh, very visible to the public. Oh, I was going to say, Henry, I want to see the sea lion, but who do you have with us right now? Well, we have two of our donkeys. This is Mario, and this is, the other is Luigi. I think they named the game after them, but I won't swear to that. But they're Sicilian donkeys. Uh, they're miniature donkeys, and they are very much uh, playful and enjoy public uh, coming through. They were one of the animals that actually missed the public when we were closed. We were closed for such a long time. Uh, the animals miss the, the interactions with the public. Mm -hmm. oh, can you ride those donkeys? What's that again? Can you ride the donkeys? <laughs> I think Mikey no, wants they're too, to. <laughs> I'm too big and they're too small. Uh, these guys were bred as sort of a, a collector's item. People wanted to have them because it was a, you know, back in the 1860s, 1850s. These were bred in the Mediterranean area, hence the Sicilian donkey. And people got them as, like in the Victorian era, sort of collecting uh, different things and they collected animals. They were no longer beasts of burden because they can't really carry their weight. Oh, oh so if people <laughs> are coming to the zoo right now, what do they need to know? Well, we want people uh, as much as possible to practice all the guidelines that are directed by the state and the CDC. Wear a mask. Uh, obviously, when you're going to eat and drink and things like that, you can have the mask off. But it's a good idea to wear these all the time. But our, in our buildings, they are required. Uh, obviously, when you come through as a family member or family group, you can have your little social bubble. But be mindful of all the other people that are around you. Uh, you know, wear your mask when you're coming in the building in particular, so you're not spreading anything or picking up anything. We want you to be healthy, and we want you to come back to the zoo. Yeah, and I know Mikey was asking about this earlier. We, we wanted to ask you, the donkeys here, Mario and Luigi, are they male or female? Uh, they're both male, uh, they're, and they happen to be brothers, so they are the Mario brothers, I guess. <laughs> the one way of looking at it. That makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. All right, well, <laughs> they're cute. Well, what else can you find if you were going to the kids' kingdom? I know my niece Ellie would be so excited to go check it out, Henry. Well, one of the things we just did uh, Saturday is share the uh, alpaca. We have nine alpaca in our uh, upper kids' kingdom, and they look like something out of a barroom cantina scene from uh, Star Wars after you, you, you shear them down. They look like a totally different animal. So we encourage people to come out and see what a, a, an alpaca looks like after it gets a post-COVID haircut. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, Henry. This has been, been fun. Thank you for having me on, and I look forward to talking to you soon. All right. Well, stay with us. We'll check back in with Henry ahead to find out about the new cheetah cubs and sea lion pups at the zoo. So cute, and they are ready to meet with no, us, Selena. I can't wait to see the sea lions. <laughs> well, coming up ahead, PBS celebrity chef and entertainment host Christy Rost shares her recipe for what she says are the best barbecue ribs for your next cookout. And Ron Smiley has a look at our weather leading up to the holiday weekend. Stay with us for that and more when PTL comes right back.